Hi, welcome to Above Life Channel. I'm Bridget and I am the one that does the weekly channeling videos that I hope that you all are enjoying. Today in this video, the topic is a little bit different than normal. I'm not going to be interviewing an afterlife celebrity, but instead I'm going to be talking to you about what the big deal is about afterlife celebrities. Are you one of these people that has kind of felt a little bit guilty and kind of silly for being so interested or so shaken up when someone famous dies? Come on now, you can be honest, it's just us talking here. It is not uncommon and it might feel really strange, but it is not at all strange to feel so deeply and emotionally impacted by the death of a famous celebrity. So why is that? So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about that from a psychic and energetic perspective to help you understand why it is that our souls, the beautiful interwoven connection of our souls can be so connected to people we've never even met in real life. Now I also wanna to speak to people who are not fans. So if you weren't a fan of someone and they suddenly passed away, Sometimes it wakes you up, it like shakes you, kind of shakes you as a soul and gets you to pay attention and notice. And in those particular instances when, especially when you're not a fan of someone who dies, but all of a sudden you're like really noticing everything about them. You're noticing pictures and news reports and maybe if it's a musician, their music and, and you're just really, magnetically, almost magnetically drawn to the energy of the opening that that person has left. The void of the human life has left. So see, so you see, so what happens is when people die, we leave the body. And when we leave the body, there is a, when there is a collective connection of energy, meaning if it's someone that has a lot of people who admire them, who follow them, who are fans, or maybe they've done something monumental. So it could be like a world leader. It could be a musician, an actress, a movie star. It could be a Nobel Prize winner, a famous scientist. It could be anyone. And when they, they leave their body, there is a stop, kind of a stop gap that happens. It's kind of like an instant open that happens. And everyone somewhere along the chain of humanity, all right, the humanity chain, you have your soul and that person's soul has been connected and connected energetically, connected etherically. Your mind cannot possibly understand this and I'm not asking you to understand this in your mind or to try to rationalize it because quite frankly, it's difficult to do that and just don't even waste your time. Just know that even if you weren't a mega fan and all of a sudden you are like stop gap open because this particular person left their body, you feel this opening, the stop gap open because within you, some part of your soul chain was connected to that person's spirit. So when they left their body and they embraced the light of the afterlife energy, okay, so they're in the eternal life, you, a part of your soul is rejoicing with them. A part of your soul opens and it opens like a lotus, you know, blooming in the mud. Lotus flowers bloom and grow in the icky conditions below the surface. And so too, in that way, you just open, a part of you opens and it does not make sense. It's not rational in the mind. It's because it's an energy thing. The human evolution of energy and our soul being and our soul expression, our soul experience is magical and it's mystical and it does not get easily defined or explained, which is part of what makes it crazy to try to figure it out. So the most important thing I want you to understand is if you have had this experience where someone famous died and you all of a sudden really felt sad, when you heard the news or you felt this grief or you felt the loss and then 
after just a, a, a brief time, all of a sudden you kind of feel guilty about that. Like, why does it affect you so much? Why should you care so much? It's not like you're their family. It's not like you're their mega fans. Or even if you are their mega fans too, you know, grief affects us differently. And again, your soul and their soul has a chain of connection through the human, this human chain of connection. And in some way, there was some kind of a beautiful, a harmonious synchronicity that allowed you then that the moment that that soul decided, made the choice and left the body, you would feel it. You would feel the stop gap open. And okay, so I know that probably is going to get annoying, but that's how it feels to me. I'm trying to express it so you can see it and feel how it feels when a person leaves that you in some way as the soul are connected to. Again, doesn't make sense in your rational mind, but you feel it, which means you might feel sad, you might feel angry, you might get frustrated, you might get fixated. You might get fixated and want to learn everything about that person. When, when they were alive, you weren't even really that interested. And you might feel some human guilt about that because you might feel like, well, what is wrong with me? Why am I totally fascinated about learning about this person's life when they don't even have a life anymore? And then you might feel kind of guilty about that. Like, well, I didn't care enough when they were alive and now I'm going to jump on the bandwagon after they died. You might have so many judgments and criticism within yourself. And let's be clear, there are so many famous people that have an incredible community of followers and they are followers that beat the drum of that celebrity and if you 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 miss person or mr person who didn't didn't seem to be around when that person was alive buying their records or watching their movies or what have you all of a sudden show up and you're just this fan it's kind of like during like the super bowl when all of a sudden Everybody at that hometown comes together and rallies around the team. That's what happens with the spirit of people who weren't obvious fans before. They become fans because why? Because their souls were connected to that person. And people who are in the fan club or die hard, beat the drum of that, that famous person's legacy, they will get really protective and they get kind of mean and territorial. But the truth of the matter is you people who weren't fans before, you are fans in the afterlife and afterlife rocks as far as fans go. Let me just say, okay? And your spirit, your soul has fans too. And so we'll all be able to talk about that. We'll all be able to know all of this when we are all in the afterlife as spirit. But right now you're going to have to take my word for it. Do not feel guilty. Don't buy into the judgment and don't take any shade from other people who think that your fan the, the fact that you love that person all of a sudden just overnight and they're judging you because they don't think um, they're comparing. Comparison is a, a piece that comes in when you got to remember they're grieving too. And nobody's grief should be compared to anybody else's grief. Grief is a personal experience and it takes time in different ways and it moves through people in different ways some people get crabby and mean and so maybe that's what's happening to those fans and you know what that's not your business you don't need to worry about it but please do not make yourself bad and do not judge yourself and do not do not blow it off whatever you do if you are so shaken by somebody's death and you cry do not hide that don't hide it because your soul knows the truth and that spirit totally knows because their job has been achieved when they have touched your soul their job has been achieved they get a gold star you know that energy you're helping them as well to evolve and become closer to the ethereal energy ethereal energy of our spirit and so do not feel bad about that it just happens you guys it's just the way it is it's just what happens. It's hard to explain it. Stop trying to rationalize it. Just accept that you are a beautiful soul who's connected to other souls and you get the experience to connect through the soulful relationship where you all might be sad when someone leaves and you might be really interested in their lives and want to learn about them because now there's a curiosity about it and that's okay. All of that is natural. All of that is natural and, and don't make yourself bad. Don't judge yourself and don't judge anyone else either. Nobody is a better fan than anybody else. And it's, it's not a competition. 
It's not about that, you guys. It's just not about that. So love who you love, okay? And love them big and make sure that you turn that love inward and love yourself. Love your spirit, love your soul. We are all truly connected. I have a mentor who is a Native American medicine man and he is a Lakota. Um, and he had said to me many times, I've heard him say, Matakawewasan, which means we are all related. And we truly are, especially in the soul, in the soul energy realm. All right. This is Bridget with Above Life Channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've given you a little bit of a pep talk and maybe some insight into how it is that when a famous person dies, some people get kind of just woken up, you know, stop gap open kind of energy. And it's really helpful to you and it's really inspiring and it really serves to open you up for so many better things for your life. And that particular individual just served their purpose. Thank you so much for watching.